Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo and welcome to the Romance of Three Empires. I will be forming the Mongol Empire and Lambert. Say hello Lambert. Hi, I'm Lambert and um, for the 734th time, if I'm being exact, I'm doing a Roman Empire campaign on my YouTube channel. Because <laughs> that's my thing. And, uh, I'm going to be forming the Roman Empire. Is, uh, you know, accessory... Adjunct, <laughs> ignored uh, flailing partner Adaway. I'm I'm playing as England and I'm going to die to France. <laughs> okay, so can I just point out right? Um, I want new Hashtag this, it. this is these are the <laughs> three most well known empires in history. But I just want to point out England is the had the biggest empire the world has ever seen. The Mongol Empire was the second largest empire the world has ever seen. The Romans, you would, people would generally think, oh, they were pretty fucking big. No, 24th. <laughs> 24th largest. They're very low, yeah. Yeah. The lack of any uh, non-European, or significant sized non-European possessions really hurt them. Ally me, uh, ally me, ally me, ally, uh, uh, Crystal, right, send me an alliance. Right, <laughs> right, we're doing we're doing it so that they're gonna help me with the Ottoman War to begin with because um, and more generally, this is a co-op campaign. Yes, 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 it is. I, it's been promised to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Scotland, who likes you? Who wants to be my rival? Oh wait, what? Oh, it's Serbia. I thought fucking um, <laughs> I thought the Poles had rivaled me, and I was like, what? Guess Why? how many rival options I have. Burgundy, why you rival me? Why you do this? Guess how many rival options I have. Uh, is it no right. guy, Kazan, and Muscovy? Seven. I have seven <laughs> rival options. <laughs> it says something about the start. So, sorry, just so I can take this image off the screen, let me just uh, talk about it for a moment. Oh, yeah, There's I should probably put it on as well. The three Empires, which you should check out. It's a cool mod. Uh, it, we're not playing with it. <laughs> no, we're not. But, uh, it, has, it contains this map where there's the Roman Empire, the Mongol Empire, and the British Empire at more or less their greatest extent. Yes. Give a little bit of leeway because there's some overlap, but, you know, Come, turnabout's all fair play. So we're going to try and form these three empires, and uh, it's going to be great. So I'll move that off the screen, and we can... Uh, oh, you're moving off the off. screen. Yeah. I did an OBS thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I moved the OBS capture window off the screen, so I can bring it back if I want to. Well, I can bring it back as well. <laughs> all right, enough of that. Uh, shall I unpause, and no. will you help me? <laughs> yes, maybe, and don't unpause. All right, so I have never played Byzantium <laughs> in vanilla. I can't believe I'm hearing this, by the way. Never. It's been almost 5,000 hours, and you haven't played, like, the main start. I have a Cossack's estate as Byzantium. That is strange. That is interesting and also strange, yes. I wonder. Oh, wait, you mean you have it as an option? Everyone has it as an option, number. Oh, really? Like, having the Cossack's estate in your estate screen? Yes. Uh, Adway, do you have a Cossack's estate? No, everyone has it as an option. You have to have land near steps, and then it becomes an option. Uh, I do not have the Cossack's estate. Because yeah, you don't have any land near steps. Okay. Okay. Excellent. All right. Uh, so, ally, ally galleys build Poland, right? That's that's the strat? Pretty much. That yeah. Largely, yeah. No, but so do I actually build galleys, or will I need them because, like, England navy? We should have set up a multiplayer team so that we were always permanently allied. But no, because we need to go to war to... No, you don't. Just sell them. Yeah, but that's boring and costs prestige. Anyway, I'm, I, I don't think war. there's a whole lot for me to do here. So whenever you're ready, I will yeah, totally... Not, it's, I have a lot to do. And there's a lot for you to do. You should be improving with Hungary and Poland and checking their rivalries and seeing if it worked out to your favor, which it didn't, spoiler alert. I know. I've already done that. I've used all of my diplomats. So do you mind if I ally the Ottomans just for a bit here? What? No, you're going to be at war with them. Good work. Uh, so what's the new raising feet. mechanic? Like, how, how damaging is raising these days? Oh, you think I've played Horde before? What? Hordes are great fun. I haven't played them since release. They were horribly brokenly powerful on release, and they've nerfed them big time since then. Kazan, why would you rival me, you foolish boy? Alright, I guess I'll counter rival. And then go for an alliance. Uh, about 30 seconds, then I'll be ready. Okay, Dux. Uh, navies, sieges. So I yes. start with a whole lot less cores than, uh, than I was expecting, but that should be fine. 
So I can actually form the Mongol Empire, which is quite cool. It gives me a unique government type. Uh, which can be fun. So I'm going to do that. I can also reform the Great Horde. Sounds fun. Which gives me new ideas and traditions. I don't know what those are, but uh, I look forward to finding out. I also have Horde ideas, which are some of the very best in the entire game. By, like, They're at top five easy. I get 25% core creation and 10% less aggressive expansion and five years of separatism. By the way, Edoway, the reason I was yes. suggesting for you to release Normandy and avoid the main event is because I think the Ottomans are a bigger threat to me than France is to you, existentially speaking. So, so I you would... want my army down on your end? Yes. It's oh. not a bad idea, actually. Mm. Okay. If you just that. grab one ally so you're safe, like Austria. Oh, I've got Austria already. Nice. Well, you know, France won't attack you with Austria, so... It doesn't... It's not attack you. It's the surrender Spiders, of main event. No, 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 release... They won't attack him once he releases it, is my point, because they could still attack right. him. Right. Spiders release Normandy, and then the main event just happens, and I just say yes? Uh, no, no. Release Normandy, give main to Normandy. Well, and then France can't get it? They don't get the event, no, because England doesn't control it. You Wonderful. can actually fire it later at a time of your convenience, I think. That's, by just yeah. start taking the province. That would be hilarious. Uh, I was also yeah. suggest giving them Alan Con just I'm ready because. For the yeah, 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 I'm ready for the unpause. Yeah, until Adaway is going to Maine just to be safe. Yeah, I have seen the main event fire on the 15th of November. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I I was stunned. I've got I've got War of the Roses as well, which I need to try and sort out. Yeah, you actually. Uh, I think there's nothing you can do about that. It's just RNG because you can't abdicate in time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Make your king and heir generals. That's about the only thing you can do. Oh, speaking of kings, what am I, what's my king like? 222 two, two with cruel oh, navigator. Yeah. I forgot, I'm also a step nomad, which means I have minus 10 years of separatism overall. That's so strong. All right, are we ready? I'm good to go. I'm good to go. I'm paused. I'm bringing my troops over to um, Achaia. Where do you see... There we go. I can have an 85% cavalry ratio right now. And when I convert to uh, Tengri, spoiler alert... Uh, then I'm going to be able to get even more. <clears throat> it's going to be grand. So will anyone else ally me? Theodora. Oh, yeah, I, I don't need to. I don't need to fabricate claims as a horde. Oh, I've missed you, hordes. That goes to I forgot about that. That's like the best thing. I forgot that you could do that. No guy flipped hostile, but I rivaled your rival. You. PC. So. <laughs> Frequently, the Ottomans attack Albania and get murdered by Venice. Uh, shall I declare war on the Ottomans if they go to war and with uh, Albania? I don't know. I mean... Can you get access down here? Probably. I mean, just give me warning and I'll move my troops. If I'm with the Ottomans easily, because I can get through Lithuania. I'm rivaled with Moldavia. I can't get access with them. Yeah, but I can. Okay. Why do you have to ally Novgorod, Ryzen? I think that's going to stop me. How many men does Novgorod have? It might stop me. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's a search function in the in the thing now. It's so good. Love Paradox Interactive, the developer of the video game Europa Universalis 4. Hey, I got All a right, 3 6, three. <laughs> Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I got a 3 2. I got a 1 3 2 air. Oh, I wasn't talking about airs, I was talking about uh, general. Alright. 3 2 already, that's not bad. I mean, it's basically a 0 2, but yeah. still. I'm just going to sack my prestige, make everyone happy with me. So, uh, Adaway, what are your opening moves? <laughs> uh, Murder Ottomans. Buying on Ulster to attack and pull Scotland into war without France. Sounds good. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Murder the Ottomans? I mean, that's one thing I'm going to have to do. But I'm also going to have to um, colonize a bit. Oh, yeah. I wonder if the Mongol ideas include Siberian frontiers. No. Fun. No, they do not. I think you're going to have to do expansion ideas. Yeah. Expansion ideas are pretty good anyway, to be honest. Co-creation costs. they're admin ideas, but, but they're pretty nice. State maintenance down. Lots of good things. Yeah. I actually don't know what the rest of the Mongol ideas are. I just know that Siberian Frontiers is Russia only. Oh, yeah, is, is it Russia only? Yep. Oh, it's it's MNT where yeah, colonial nations get it. 
Which is so good. Yes, it's extraordinarily good. So you're declaring war on people that aren't the Ottomans. Yes, yes I did. The earlier I can get my cores back from the Ottomans, the earlier I can start being, you know, my, my perspective can be, you know, nice to look at. It sounds like, it sounds like a you situation. <laughs> well, I am yes, the host. No, I will come help you, but I need to kill Ryzen before they got a second ally, is the sort of thing. So. Fair enough. So what, I get a 25% shock bonus in the steps and flat terrain and a 25% stock shock debuff in everything that is not steps or flat terrain is my understanding i think that's right i'll have to look into that there's the stack wipe marvelous and i'm also going to once i get my economy going i'm going to see what i can do to run like 85 percent cav armies it's going to be glorious realistically like 75 just to be on the safe side but hordes armies beat prussia in the mid and early game because you can go 100 percent cav and it's hilarious so are we thinking that that looks like um, the Caucasus Mountains are the border for us? Hang on, let me pull it back on screen. Well, no, the Mongols go south of the Caucasus. Oh, yeah, so yeah, they do. Mongols. I don't get the Caucasus then. Oh, that's a shame. I oh, know the Caucasus. No, I go way south. Look at the image. I yeah, no, no, I was looking at the wrong place. Yeah, so I don't get the Caucasus. No, so the... Uh, oh, and yeah. So ideally, for trade purposes... You should take none of Crimea, so you shouldn't take Trebizond. I think that pushes it slightly further in than it would historically have gone, but it makes sense because you're you're not going to be able to get any out of the Crimea anyway. Mm, I think so I should take Trebizond because it's owned by Komnenos. Yeah, yeah but if you I'm take in. on trade nodes, if you take all of Constantinople, I'll give you all of Aleppo, which is a bit extra historically in the south, and then trade just works out a lot nicer. Yeah, it's the same the same deal, me Lambert. Like I'm happy to give you all of mainland France. I just want the uh, I just want trade centers in the English Channel node. Fair enough. Uh, along Holland and Calais and that. So do you want to do the Aleppo Crimea deal? Like you take nothing in Crimea, I'll take nothing in Aleppo. That sounds good. Yeah. Looks good. I can't see. Uh, Maybe I you guess can, I can have see. Estrakhan actually just to make it slightly neater. Ezrin can. You mean uh, Erzurum? No. Southwest. Ezrin. Estrakhan. Do you... One R province southwest. <laughs> do generals have a higher chance of dying if they're drilling? They have a higher chance of dying if they are assigned to an army. They do not have a higher chance of dying if they are drilling. Oh, Erzin can. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Okay. So you take that one. You'll have one province in the node. Yeah, that's fair enough. It's a mountain fort. I mean, I don't need forts. I got friends. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, I guess just start transporting some troops over. You could actually. I think you and uh, England and Byzantium could wreck the Ottomans. England has like the second or uh, third largest starting army. You, you, you want me to come over now? <laughs> the earlier, the better. Oh, right, okay. Um, Where is England? Okay, I was going to, I was going to do oh, a war, I but I can, I can come now if you want. The, yeah, so the earlier, the better. We get to the Ottomans I, wrecked. I do, I do recommend that you go and do it now. All right. I'll, uh, I'll ship over. We should have rivaled the Ottomans, really. Where do you, where do you want me? In Constantinople? Uh, well, I'm stood in uh, southern Greece right now. Maria. Can you offer me access? Uh, yes. Do you want fleet basing as well? You won't be spending all that much because... Ottomans are moving men, and it doesn't look like they're moving them towards right, you. I'm, so uh, I'm moving over now. You want to be ready. Now, my, the main problem we're going to have is I'm going to get I'm going to get rebels if this uh, War of the Roses event fires, and my army is not going to be in the UK. You... Well, it's the War of the Roses. Just choose and uh, one of them, and then the other one, let him win. That is right, usually okay. the, uh, the strat there, yeah. All right. Ottomans have claimed Constantinople. <laughs> Big surprises. So yeah. I have a new mission tree in the Poland patch, which is fun. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Gain an innovativeness and Ottomans hate me, or gain 10 prestige and the Ottomans love me. Gain permanent claim on six areas. Sorry, five areas. That's a little little powerful. All I have to do is conquer uh, Kazan and Nogai. Nice. Why yeah, I not... get permanent claims on like the entire old Mongol uh, region. I can get permanent claims on all of China. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you fleet basing access. It's literally half a ducat. I think you can cover it. Okay. It just stops you from taking on sea attrition while you're trying to move your troops um, off. Yes, my my fleet is going to be not much down here. Um, well, I have seven galleys. 
Uh, let me check how many the Ottomans have. Uh, they'll build up. They'll build up massively. You don't need. You don't need a fleet. If Ottomans you're, have if 24. You're able to beat yeah. him on the land. You you can get plenty of war score by sieging down the European half. Yeah, that's fair enough then. So I'm going to be ready to I'll go in like probably home. two years. I'll be I'll be good to go, and I'll, I'll declare a separate war. Actually, uh, did they ally like Crimea? Like this, you should sell me a province temporarily, so that I get a CB on the Ottomans. I have three of them. I know. I did say temporarily, and I'll pay you for it to cover the cost of not having it for a while. Or you could just join in on my war. But I want to humiliate the Ottomans. You can do that in the second war. They might not be a valid rival by then. Oh, they good. will be. They'll have all of Anatolia by then. You've literally given me plus 50% on my um, my income, so thank you very much. <laughs> not me. Oh, uh, you have oh, fleet yeah, basing. You have fleet basing. You know how to... No, it's too late. That's right. Yeah, I'll do it this time. You know how Discovering America is one of the Age of Discovery abilities? Yeah. Uh, Adaway, you should totally colonize America and then sell us each a province there so we can both get that ability done. Yeah. <laughs> I've got all the strats, baby. <laughs> Sounds good. What kind of generals are you rocking with? Uh, I've got like a 2 1 or something. Not I've very got good. the guy I start with, which is a um, 2 4. That 2 4 is going to come in handy. Yeah, he's a god. I love the Tribal Conquest CB. It's like, it's one of the, the mid-tier CBs in terms of aggressive expansion. It's so Ottomans big. versus Dolkadir. Is it big? No, it's just one. It's not called in the other Balex. Do I mean Balex? Yes, you do. But that does mean his uh, army is going to be... I don't know, he's, he's not even using half his army. No, it's on the way. Yeah. Are you bringing more troops down? Me? Yeah, they're, they're all coming. All right, cool. I haven't yeah, got that many. You can absolutely smash them. Like it's it's not even funny. I've got I've got uh, 13k more to come down. Sweet. I can build a bit more actually. Usually the Ottomans ally Crimea. I thought that was going to be your you in. Because there's a great opportunity for me to do something, not involving you guys. No, if you need to do something, you can do something. Okay. <laughs> we hope. No, you'll be absolutely fine. Otto the England can one v one the Ottomans, no problem at the start. They don't start that good. They don't start that good. They've got 34,000 men right now. What the hell? Have they been buffed? That's really good. <laughs> uh, I may be in a little bit of trouble with an aristocratic coup. <laughs> you moron. I, I found the Ottomans to be really difficult since 1.26. Yeah? They've um, been buffed and I didn't notice. Uh, my, I, th I, I, my, I think it's A because I was playing on Lucky Nations and B because Pip advanced. Out of way, saying, could could tennis. could you move your troops to Maria? Moria. Uh, that's where they are, isn't it? That's where I am. That's that's where my my army is right now. Oh no, don't do that. Don't cross a river this. Can we swap? Can you move to Maria oh, right, with okay, a with yeah, a general? Yeah. Scare them off. This is good. Stop. You, you're on full morale, morale, right? Down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> good. It's not a good sound. Are you declaring now? No. Wait, what? Oh, they were loyal. No, I'm a fucking idiot. He's revoking tribes estate. No, I revoked the nobles. Uh, I thought they were going to revolt. Want, you don't want me to fight the revolt. <clears throat> oh, they're at 31 <laughs> loyalty now. So it's all, we're all we're all actually good. But it's, it's fine. No, the, I didn't actually need you. I just, just in case. Just in case. Yeah, just in, just in case. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, the Ottomans have just turned on the fort in Salanik. What do you mean you don't want to peace out, no guy? You're at war with Muscovy. Priorities. All right. So if I raise my maintenance now, are we? Are we? As soon as your troops get here, are we ready? Yeah, I've got ten thousand on boats, five thousand more waiting in the UK. They can come in as reinforcements after the war started, though, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ottoman navy. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yes, yes. But he's going to probably try and blockade Constantinople, right? I highly doubt I, he's... I'm, I'm going to be moving my navy out of the med when... The... I don't want to lose it. Fair enough. And I, and I will um, you know what? Out. I think... No, mine, mine's probably going to be safe enough in dock. 
Right, uh, I need to not suffer attrition. I can move to Athens. Oh, I am going to cross a darn river. Oh well. We'll probably still win. Can right, I get there? going to arrive in Cornwall on. Doesn't say. We, can we speed three? Yes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, oh, also, we oh, we God. should end the first episode. Yes. Uh, could you give me just a moment? I've always finished my war. You always do this. <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> or you could give me... Can I have a loan, England? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, how much? Like, uh... I mean, it has to be, like, right. Uh, I've got to make some different that now. Like, sorry. Yeah, okay, it doesn't matter. I'll just go into normal debt. It's fine. All right. I need, uh, I still need a sec. I, I'm at 28% on the siege and then the war's over, so. 29% actually. Sorry? 29% actually. No, it says 28. That is weird. You're right. Mm, yeah, it's like probably 28 and a half. I was improving with Poland and then they rivaled us. You Can't are be... allied to nobody. Oh, I wish I could attack you. Ugh. I'm missing some good opportunities here, Lambert's gonna help you out. Yeah, we're, we're just we're just waiting for the end of the episode. Come on, Christo. I'm nearly there. Twenty-eight percent. It's ticking now. <laughs> it wasn't ticking previously. Oh, there's a bear here. That's cool. Supply shortage. It's good. Now it's twenty-nine percent. What? <laughs> Speed five. Come on. Come on, Siege. God damn it. I believe. Christo. Oh, come on. Come on, I just need to finish this war. Why did you? <laughs> why? Why do you need to finish it? All right, fine. Thank you. I unpaused. I won the siege. <laughs> I paused, and then Lambert unpaused, and immediately after you unpaused, I won the siege. Lovely. Hilarious. Well, there we are. Well, thank Always you very much for watching. It's been a great pleasure. The romance of the three empires will be uh, glorious and long. And uh, there won't be in, uh, nearly as much salt, which some of you will dislike, but <laughs> I will enjoy. So, so see you. You scum. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Goodbye. see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.